<laughs> That's a really rough landing right here. How do I feel? This is where the action is. Yeah, I'm gonna stand here next time. All right, because the last time is this probably is the last time. time. I want to try that one. This this last one going that way. Let's do it. The one where you're standing at. I'll do it right now. Let me get a rip. Let me it's get a like rip. This thing. I'm like ten percent throttled. Let me get a rip. Come on in. Real quick. Send it. Don't give us ten minutes. No, just go. You got the. <laughs> well, now it's over. Soiree. That was your heavy duty jacket. Anorak. It's almond proof. He also brought medium sweatpants. He brought a windbreaker for the rain. Darren Parsons wearing clothes I've never even seen before that we apparently made. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. nice. I like that. Well, we made some bad decisions. So did Kato. <laughs> what, buying a Forester? <laughs> that's a great decision. That's great. Just wait till <laughs> It already knows I already know going. that. It looks tight on your new wheels and tires, you know, though. How tight is this tank car? We bought a new project car, and it's a tank mobile. But really, shit car, you know, we put the SR in it, we drove it at the burn yard a bit. Oh! Oh! And then we kind of just like didn't do anything with it. So we decided it needed a revival, but something different, something more stupid. And this is what we came up with. Dan, don't even look at it. What are you What are you worried about? I'm not worried about anything. I was just checking. I've never seen a BMW with Wild Peaks on it before. Look at it. Active arrow. Yeah, we're in a hurry. We're racing against this storm. Dude, you can see it moving. You can watch it. Yo, it is Real ripping. <laughs> that thing is ripping over here. Back five minutes ago, it did not look like that. No, yeah. We are going to get roasted. So Darren's our official off-road coach. He's here to show us the ways. And uh, we're gonna see how long we can make it without breaking this car. It's worth I think noting. The trailer actually moves. Yeah, the trailer's got more suspension. The tra wait, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Let's hit that. Oh, yeah. yeah, the the trailer has far more suspension travel. All of this is nullified by this right here. Yo, look at look at Jose's cut. Look at the. <laughs> So, last night, the boys, we all sat around the shop, modified this thing. Oh boy, what did we do here? Good work, Jose. You ruined shit car. Dude, it's, it usually sits, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. All right, maybe it's bad. Dude, money! Cherry. Here we are today. We're, we're off-roading. He has a proper Jeep with like a V8, and we all brought four-cylinder cars, basically. <laughs> Yeah, but yours has a roof rack. Yeah, buddy. And tires. Yours has a livery and, and weather seal. Oh, yeah. Dude, oh. Should we let him know? Let him know. Watch your face. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a firecracker. You just run away from it. Yeah. Yo, Mitch is the man, though, because it has no windows. Mitch put a garbage bag and a bungee cord on that. Yeah, 1 a.m. You're the man. Oh, I got a rag in the car we can put over there. Oh, yeah, the shift knob rag and the gas the pedal. The gas pedal's still there. Is it still just the... It's just the... <laughs> oh, it's about as shitty as it can be. That's... Oh, yeah. Just look at the... Got the gas pedal. Got the trans. It spits a little bit of fluid out from there, but... Uh... Gas knob. Nice See, this pedal. this side is better. It's proper. That's a good, that's a good side. We'll only shoot this side. So we're gonna go try to shred some trails today. Then it's gonna start raining, maybe snow. And then, uh, I don't know, try to break this and see how long we make it. dust we're kicking up and you look behind us and it's just a like literal snowstorm coming over the mountains uh wherever we're going 
hopefully we can get out and have some fun before the storm hits. My ideal situation is I want to get like a decent hill climb in, like some quick trail stuff before we just settle into the lake bed when it gets nice and muddy and just yeah. whip some chocolate teas. Or <laughs> some chocolate teas. <laughs> yeah, cereal? good out here. Came out to Johnson Valley, test out these new Falcons, uh, test out our max beating rods, and uh, yeah, do some new R&D for our uh, new E36 Safari kit. It's coming out. Shitker may be a half-assed and fast craptacular safari car now, but it has suffered many an indignity as well as quite a few iterations over time. Here are some fun facts about our first child. The People's Champ debuted on March 21, 2017 on Daily Transmission Season 1 Episode 8. It came into our lives as a lowly 318 ISE 36 5-speed BMW, purchased on offer up from a man wearing a trench coat, sweatpants and no shirt for $350 that included an interior reeking of cigarettes and despair. Potential names included Yard Bitch and The Gimp before we settled on Shitker. Among the early mods were a spec clutch, welded differential, Acura rear wing delete forklift mod, max peating rods coilovers, $10 wheels, hand rolled stretched fenders and full send over toward lugs by Vin. Adam crashed it first, Hurt crashed it worse and Ron Carr sent it hard into the Burnyard's meth row. Over the years, we've employed Shitker as an instructional aid teaching the USPS mail carrier and the Domino's delivery guy to do burnouts. In addition to showing Kikaya and Christine how to do a proper donut, Design Daddy John Chase designed all three of the Stars and Stripes liveries and the latest Brett tribute look. Darnall and Bill Cass will cut out the back end and design the custom exhaust bypass. Other mods include door removal then a Lambo door install, rear mounted eBay turbo kit, NRG seats, three piece US wheels, nitrous, and most recently an SR20 swap. We've subjected Shitker to gutterball bowling, cornhole, a tug of war, the first ever tandem man line, and a drag race against a 500 horsepower E92. We crushed it with a monster Jeep, jumped it with a Bronco and sent it to the SEMA show as a display vehicle. Hurt even tried to kill it with fireworks on July 4th before it sought revenge by trying to kill him back with a fiery backfire. Our own Chris Miller once famously said Shitker doesn't have to look like shit. You'd better watch your back Chris. So, it's a guy about a quarter inch of suspension travel right now. Somebody call my dentist. <laughs> Our backs are going to feel amazing. <laughs> Still going to send it. Hey, <laughs> we don't have any harnesses. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds That's like a, a good start. Sounds like a beaut. Woo! We're off to a good start. Come on, man. So it just had to go through all this. You're gonna kick it while it's down. I just want to make sure it's out of the way of the tire. Got you, got you. out here you want the steering to follow with you well yeah you want it to be yeah. smooth you want it to be it's smooth donuts. hands yeah some donuts we definitely need to do some get up on those hills like that's gonna be super fun in this yeah except yeah. for if it stalls don't, and then it rolls back and flips don't ride with me real quick and you'll see <laughs> oh wow this is even sketchier than all right got a little bracing on all right so you've got one strap i've got half of half a cushion I should just take the second cushion. No, I'm gonna need that. Yeah, you're gonna need that. It, trust me, it's bad. Don't flip it, because I'm gonna put I'm my gonna hand out it. here. Don't put your hand out here. <laughs> Nothing. 
thing in the back. That you can see. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, dude, you just feel like you're doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Sketchy until the end when we're coming back in. I barely even but yeah. was touching it. Like, it didn't I put it in second yeah. and the wheel speed just kind of like already over it. We didn't even hit boost it, Phil. No, not yeah. at all. Yeah. It was just like NA power. Send it. Go. You got the. Oh, now it's over. Trying to make it last. <laughs> Dude, this thing is sick. Yo, <laughs> so much fun. Dude, the cameras are already. <laughs> everything oh, yeah. is toasted. Oh my We're god. We're already god, toasted. I feel great. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, oh my before god. Diego. Diego. Oh Holy. my goodness. Oh we no! Did. What happened? Ah! No! It wasn't me. I was just gonna go for a cool down. Shikar lives. You can't kill Shikar. It's actually gotten better throughout the day so far. <laughs> so uh, let's get your rig and let's go do some yeah, real. Let's go that way and then let's go climb to the top of that mountain. Drag race. Yeah, let's go. Let's 
go see if uh, we can get shit cars stuck. Kano's behind us. First we'll get the Prius stuck. Meanwhile, the Jeep, this is just like, this might as well be the 405. It doesn't even matter. matter. Which one you want to take? Go. Let's take the wildest. Go, there's a little intermediate one. No way, it's not gonna make it through that. <laughs> Man, this thing just chews it up. Hold on, let me get out. I wanna film this dude coming up. <laughs> Let's see how shit car does getting up this hill. Stay to the stay to the left. This thing's good. <laughs> Yo, this thing rips. <laughs> Maybe the Kato to stop on a hill. Something fast broke in the rear. <laughs> oh, I heard it. a forest there to go off-roading and camping with. In the simplest terms, overlanding is vehicle-supported adventure travel, with an emphasis on self-reliance, remote locations and the interaction with other cultures where the journey is the primary goal. The term traces its roots to Australia where it was originally used to describe the act of shepherding livestock over long distances in order to bring them to market. In the 50s in Australia, Len Bettel built many of the roads that connect the vast Australian outback. Contrary to popular belief, vehicle choice is not limited to patinaed Series 1 discos with max tracks and roof racks. Overland conveyance can be simple or extravagant and everything from bikes to commercial trucks and even trains can be used because the mechanized transport is simply a means to an end. Yet, this type of travel is all about exploration instead of conquering obstacles. Much like traditional off-roading, it doesn't matter if you take a weekend trip or a worldwide venture. The end goal is to venture out into the world. With that said, should we put a rooftop tent and bougie Yeti cooler adopt our beloved shit car in order to get out and do it all for the gram? Hey man, as long as it's flat-ish, it handles like a can -Am or something. <laughs> Look at a shit car making it to the top of the it's, hill. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude! Oh! oh. <laughs> 
get stuck with all wheel drive? It just, it like planted in as like, oh, we're going this way now. Whoa. So how is this I thing can't making believe it shit car made it up that. Yo, yeah. I know it doesn't seem that crazy on camera, but this road is oh like gnarly. All the boulders are like this big and it's basically like loose gravel, but this big. Oh my God. Holy shit. And then Cut something off. happened. Like the fuel died right when we got to the corner there. It was like, bup, 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 bup. Oh. He breaked and I was like, so sketchy. The car was teetering like this. I was like, holy but shit. But look at how majestic it looks up on the ridge. <laughs> look at how <laughs> majestic that thing is. It's fucking <laughs> amazing. I've never seen a unicorn, but. things feel amazing like especially on these larger rocks is really able to kind of like keep everything in place or just get through it without puncturing especially now we're hitting the sandier spots this is where you like need the tread pattern and everything that these have still kind of impressive that this car could go on these trails to be completely honest <laughs> Really cozy there with your wearing my uh, my Delta <laughs> face mask to not breathe in all the dust. <laughs> the front dip bolt broke, so Dan and I strapped this thing. Might not work, but uh, hopefully we get a little bit longer out of it. It's getting cold now. Let's Yo, go. Hands are frozen. Let's jump wow. this thing. Let's go. Darren, take us to a jump. Darren Parsons go try this out in the XJ first, and then uh, Dan already jumped it once in shit car, no cameras. Rule number one. <laughs> this thing sounds sick. I like this. Dan might have uh, took the whoop section a little fast. Yeah, he checked up on the jumps and went fast through the whoops. What the hell? <laughs> Oh, the whoops were a bigger jump than the jump. How's your back? It's all right. <laughs> I'll hit this one again this way and then this one last time. I'll hit this one hard. That's where it's bad because it's like... You land in the whoops. It's like seven whoops in a row. <laughs> Maybe it's not a good idea. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, boy. Look at this piece of shit. <laughs> wow, that was weird. That sucks. <laughs> Anybody want to try it? Have some rippies. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm going to roll down this hill. <laughs> I just want to get out of the cold. <laughs> Give her hell, bud. Uh, I'm down to go. Do whatever, man. You can rip donuts over there and shit. You can hit the jump's not bad. It doesn't hurt your back. <laughs> From here, that looked horrible. 
alive? That looks fucking horrible. Are you alive? I thought I was gonna die. Hey. <laughs> we don't have any harnesses. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? I was like, oh, this is gonna be bad. Dude, you went so fast. That looked insane. I mean, it was pretty chill inside, but I was like, yeah, this is gonna flip. This is gonna fucking flip. Rip some downies, man. day of shredding shit car off-road before it started to rain and the car didn't even break really it's, well it's broken but it's not completely broken so we blasted the front bumper off we broke a radiator hose we had to ratchet strap the dip to the subframe other than that this thing ripped all day honestly yo it looks better without the bumper it does. It, it needs like a it needs like a pre-runner like you know little yeah, like, a little like radiator plate now, dude it's got a lot of clearance Look at how much, dude, this thing's got easily a foot of clearance. All right, well, this has been an awesome day. Super stoked. We figured we'd get out here and drive this thing for six seconds before the road, so. Now it's gonna rain, so we should probably get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna go cry mud. <laughs> dude, like the next two days and see. <laughs> the, that's a wrap in your eyes. <laughs> that's, that's a wrap. Oh, Diego filled it. <laughs> Mitch, you filled it up. Hey, Diego! Fuel cap? Had a fuel Let's... cap! Oh my <laughs> god! I never, you, I, I did so whoever put gas in this thing before at the gas station, Mitch, it someone forgot me. the gas cap! Oh. 